Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Ronald Hobson and Jameson. This is actually a correspondence game played in 1966. Ronald Hobson had white pieces and he started e4. Jameson played e6, d4, and now not d5, knight to f6, knight to c3, bishop to b4, f3, d5, bishop to e3, d takes on e4, a3, bishop takes knight, damaging the pawn structure at the cost of a bishop here. Pawn takes pawn, knight takes pawn, Jameson castle kingside, bishop to d3, knight to c6, Hobson castled kingside 2, queen to d6 intending e5. White to move, how would you continue? Hobson played knight to g5 and Jameson continued as planned. This e5 move has a positive side and a negative side. Positive side is it brings black dark bishop in the game. What is the negative side of this move? Please pause the video and discover the negative side of e5 move. What did you find? The negative side of this move is, it is losing on the spot. White played a move and black resigned. Unbelievable. This is the move. Black resigned. If queen takes rook, then bishop takes on h7 check, and after king to h8, queen to h5, queen to h6, and now knight takes on f7 check. Discovered attack on the queen. After rook takes knight, bishop takes queen. What else? If pawn takes rook, then queen to h5. Threatening checkmate. Black can prolong the game, but not for very long. And checkmate on f7. That is why play with black pieces. Jameson resigned that move. Very embarrassing, isn't it? Did you see the killer move? Rook takes knight. If you did, congratulations. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.